before I move on to the theorems on probability, you should know the operations of sets and along with that you should know what is commutative law, associative law, distributive law, complementary law, all these you should know. Then only you can able to solve these theorems. Now, first one, operation on sets. Operation of sets. That is, first one, if union of two sets, if union of two sets means that is A union B which is equals to X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Second one, intersection of two sets. intersection of two sets. If A intersection B then X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. You can see the difference between the union and the intersection. So for the union for this or this for intersection both both should be present. The elements in A as well as the elements in B both should be present same the third one difference of two sets that is how will we denote the difference of two sets a minus b that is a difference b which is equals to x such that x does not belongs to a. Next one, the complementary set. For the complementary set, how will we denote a dash or a bar? So, this is what the complementary set. From this, when you write A union A bar, A bar or A dash, A union A dash will give you yes, that is the probability of a particular event, certain event. A intersection A dash will give you the null set, that is the impossible event. These are the basic operations on sets. Next one. Commutative law, commutative law, associative law and distributive law. First, commutative law. We know that A union B is equals to B union A. A union B can also be written as B union A. And A intersection B which is equals to B intersection A. These two are important. These commutative law will be using it in the conditional probability of A given B or B given A. Next one. Associative law. First one. A union of union C, A union B of union C is equals to A union of B union C. Similarly, intersection part A intersection B of intersection C which can be written as A intersection B of intersection C. This is associative law. Distributive law is very very important. distributive law. A union of B intersection C can be written as A union B intersection A union C. 
similarly a intersection of b union c can be written as a intersection b union a intersection c so these three laws are very very important for proving these theorems now we are going to see the theorems on probability